in a world full of YouTubers. Here comes another YouTuber. What up, what up, what up? When it's up, it's up. When it's down, it is down. What is shaking, y'all? You already know what time it is, man. I'm here to bring you some budget beasts. 500K, 300K, 100K, whatever you looking for, I got you. And I'm gonna show you a graph just like this with the most expensive card right next to the budget beast. So you can see that statistically the budget beast can keep up and put up good value. But do me a favor, y'all. Hit that like and that subscribe so you can keep up with all the videos that I'm dropping because I'm dropping heat. All right, no more talking. Let's get right into it. Yerd. Let me take a sip of my coffee, y'all. Hold up, hold up, hold up, man. Yo, before we get into this video, I know we're going to talk about Budget Bees from the uh, Backyard Ballers promo, but I wanted to talk about something that I just realized, and if you guys have been following the channel, you know, um, yo, for some reason, man. Yo, the prices is going down. I don't know if it's some kind of market crash or anything right now. But I'm going to say, yo, this is crazy. Because, look, you're seeing 98 down to 3. 94. I mean, Patrick Queen, Brandon Marshall. I mean, this is bugged out, man. I would say, look, look at this. I would say it's a huge market crash right now. Um, would I buy right now? I don't know, man. Because there's a huge possibility that these prices might go down even more by the weekend. The more people come on and see. Um, look at this. Edrin Jane is down 5K, 500K. I mean, this is this is bugged out. Let me check out Randy Moss real quick. Then I just realized this. Um, it's just crazy to me. So would I would I buy right now? I don't know. Um, I'm not. Huge. I don't need these players right now. If they went down a little bit more, yeah, no doubt. Jerry Wright, 600K. Where's Randy Moss? 700K. All right, so I don't, I don't know, man. Some of these exclusive ones. I did a money method yesterday. You guys can do the money method for Randy Moss. Um, I might link that down. But check it out, man. The, uh, the market is being real weird right now. I would be very careful. If you buy, you might... Everybody might be trying to get rid of their cards for uh, golden tickets next week. That might be the move, and then the market will shoot back up. But definitely keep an eye on the market. If you guys know your prices, um, I would definitely keep an eye out. Um, it's definitely weird. Let, let me see CD Lamb real quick, yo. Just because I know, you know, everybody be on its top. Feel me? So, we're going to check it out real quick. Then we're going to get into the video. But I figured I'd put this in there for y'all so y'all could see, man. Because it seems like the market is a bit crashed right now. Okay, we got CD Lamb down about 600K. Like I said, man, prices are going to they're gonna go crazy here soon, man. They should be dropping down. This is beautiful for us. We don't want to... This is why I tell you, don't overpay for these cars. Because eventually they will go down. It just makes no sense to me. Anyways, let's get into it. Budget B... Ah, uh, Budget B... Backyard Ballers 2, man. The promo came out today, man. I, I honestly like this promo a lot. I think there's a lot of good cards um, with the abilities that we need. You dig what I'm saying, man? I think it's official because we need abilities right now with the cap, with the AP cap. It's very important that we get certain cards with the certain abilities that we need, most importantly. So I'm going to just go ahead and get straight into it. Also, with these Redux cards real quick. That just dropped today. Hold off on buying any of these, man. The ones that I really like the most is Marquise Pouncey, Akib Talib, uh, David DeCastro, Steve McNair is dope because of the AP value, Emmett Smith, Jason Taylor, Robert Woods, CD Lamb. Just hold on. Wait for the weekend Saturday. The prices should go down. The more people that are online, the better the prices will be. People get thirsty and they want to sell their cards. So, I mean, just keep an eye on stuff. You know what I mean? But anyways... One of the budget beats that came out today that I was really, really digging is Justin Fields. And the reason why I like Justin Fields is because he comes with zero AP. Short and elite. We need that. 
and you know what? It's crazy. I'm, when we get into the numbers, you're going to see why I like him. Anyways, we got to compare him to the most expensive tight end in the game right now. It used to be Tony Gonzalez right now. It's Tyler Conklin, I assume, because everybody's running Aaron Rodgers, and they want that uh, that theme team, Jets, you know what I mean? So that's what I would assume. But, you know, um, Tony Gonzalez is still running up in the 700Ks, you know what I mean? So for those of you guys doing money methods, hold on a little bit, you know what I mean? Keep an eye on the market. Don't get crazy with it. All right. Tyler Conklin is going to be in blue. Justin Fields is going to be in red. And for those of you guys that don't know, Justin Fields, he comes with short and elite for zero AP, route tech for zero AP, and tight end apprentice for zero AP. Dope, 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 dope budget beast. Why? Because look, when you look at the graph, Tyler Conklin, 96 speed, Justin Fields, 98 speed. I think he's going to be the fastest tight end in the game with a 97 excel. Tyler Conklin, 98 excel. Catching. Tyler Conklin, 97. Justin Fields, 94. By the way, Justin Fields is 6'3". Tyler Conklin is 6'3 as well. It's good height. That's what you want. Short route running. As you can see, Justin Fields, 96. Tyler Conklin is 91. Fire, fire, fire. Now, medium route running. Justin Fields, 97. Tyler Conklin, 89. Dope. Run block. Tyler Conklin, 79. Justin Fields, 70. It's a good, good, good budget beast. I actually think I'm going to go out and get him. And that's what that's what I like about um this promo is that they, they, they're giving out some good value out here, man. Like, even when you go to uh, the 97 pack, there's another... Uh, let me see. Let me switch real quick. Hold on, y'all. When you open the 97 pack, there's another tight end in the game, I'm pretty sure. Let me see real quick. Um, I'm going to link the, the first part of this promo down in the description. So you guys can watch that video. Oh, no. You know what? I'm thinking about Donald Parham. My fault. No, no. This is dope, though, because Del Pitt, Parham. I mean, I'm telling you, there's good value in this promo. And now they're giving you a tight end. And that's what we really needed because... OJ Howard was the fastest budget beast, but because they he didn't come with zero AP short and elite, it kind of killed him. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's move on to the next one. The next budget beast I want to talk about is going to be Daxton Hill, running back, 97 overall. The reason why I like him, he comes with zero AP short and elite. As you can see, man, we need these. The, we need these cards with these discounted abilities. We have human joystick for zero AP, backfield master for zero AP. I mean, <clears throat> no, no, my fault, my fault. Zero AP short and elite, zero AP leapfrog, and zero AP jukebox. And that's what we need. We need that short and elite, man. But uh, you know, I got to compare him to the most expensive card in the game right now. And that running back, it's going to be Walter Payton for 800 Hey, 800k we ain't gonna pay you already know the slogan man but because because of daxton hill's um attributes i wanted to compare him to somebody that you guys know who's been in the game so um pulled out chad johnson nfl combine his redux card is out so he's going for about 224 so i wanted to compare those two together daxton hill 270k you probably get him for cheaper um chris johnson 220 oh and by the way man before we before i even forget justin fields should not be do not pay over 300k for this dude man you should get him for somewhere around two and a half 220 do not pay over 300 for this dude man believe me don't do it anyways back to what i was saying before i forget Look at the chart. Walter Payton is going to be in blue. Chris Johnson is going to be in red. And Daxton Hill is going to be in green. And the reason why I pulled out Chris Johnson, like I said, is because his attributes remind me of Daxton Hill's just a little bit better. So if you really need a budget beast running back, 270 versus 220, you get what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to save you some coins. So let's take a look. When it comes to speed, 
Payton and Johnson both 98 speed, Daxton Hill 97. Acceleration. By the way, um, before I forget, man, um, Chris Johnson does come with 0 AP short in elite, 0 AP human joystick, and 0 AP backfield master. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a dope card, man. That's why I pulled them out, man, just in case. You know what I mean? If you're going to spend 270, I'd rather you spend 220 on something. You know what I mean? Anyways, when it comes to carry, wait, I was at acceleration, right? Acceleration, Walter Payton, 98. Chris Johnson, 99. Daxton Hill, 97. Carry, Walter Payton, 96. Chris Johnson, 89. Daxton Hill, 94. Change of direction. Walter Payton, 99. Johnson and Hill both at 97. Trucking. Walter Payton, 97. Johnson and Hill. Well, Johnson has a 78 and Hill has a 75. You dig what I'm saying, man? So that's why the numbers really like, because I know that they, they match up the same. So that's why I pulled out Chris Johnson because it reminded me of his card. Anyways, break tackle. Walter Payton, 99. Chris Johnson, 95. And Daxton Hill, 90. I think Daxton Hill is is a good card. Would I go crazy and be like, yo, I got to go get that Daxton Hill card? Nah, Paul, nah I'm not going to do that. There's other budget beasts out there for this kind of value, and I spoke about them in, in different videos. But out of this promo, this would be the running back that, you know, is probably the best one. Anyways. I take Chris Johnson over Daxton Hill, but if if you just want to grab a free one, Daxton Hill is not a bad option for your squad, man. He does come with short and elite for zero AP. That's what I'm trying to say, man. If you're gonna get him for free, he's not bad at all, man. Alright? So check it out. The next budget beast that I want to talk about, it came out today. Harrison Phillips. Right guard. Okay. Now, in this promo, I told you guys that on the old line, they are they are giving you guys tons and tons of good value on this with the abilities. You know what I'm saying? And with both of these guys, Cameron Jordan and Harrison Phillips, both on the Backyard Ballers promo, they both have dope abilities. And I'm going to tell you Harrison Phillips first. He has 0 AP all day, 0 AP nasty streak, and 0 AP post-up. You want that post-up on your right guard. You dig what I'm saying? And on Cameron Jordan, 0 AP identifier, 0 AP natural talent, and 0 AP post-up. You know what I mean? You can get both of these dudes for about, you know, 2.5, 270, somewhere around there. It's not, even, it's not even too bad. You could probably get them for cheaper. You should be able to get them for about 220, 230, both of them easy but because i be online early in the morning or early in the day before everybody you know gets on the game that's why some of my prices be off but i give you you know absolute value but we got to compare these two dudes to the most expensive card in the game and that's going to be currently right now will shields going for about 700k man you know what i mean so let's look at the graph and you're going to see why i like both of these dudes pause on in in this promo when it comes to strength, Will Shields, 97. Harrison Phillips, 96. Cameron Jordan, 95. Will Shields, pass block, 98. Harrison Phillips and Cameron Jordan both have 94. But like I said before, with the strategy cards, you can beef this up. You know what I'm saying? Like You can get it to like a 96, 97, maybe even 98 on a theme team. You know what I mean? Check out the strategy cards video that I have. In, in my videos, you'll see we get lit. Anyways, run block. Will Shields, 99. Harrison Phillips, 94. Cameron Jordan, 95. Run block power. Will Shields and Harrison Phillips both have 97. Cameron Jordan, 94. Run block finesse. Will Shields, 94. Harrison Phillips, 93. And Cameron Jordan, 94. You dig what I'm saying, man? The, Will Shields and Cameron Jordan both have 94 run block finesse. I'm telling you, these numbers ain't bad, man. They official. When it comes to pass block power, Will Shields, 98. Harrison Phillips, 96. And Cameron Jordan, 94. The numbers stack up. Both of these dudes are dope budget beasts, man. You're looking for that threshold of 95. 
this late in the game, you want 90, 94, 95, 96 is what you really want across the whole board. You know what I mean? And these dudes, they put up good value, man. They definitely put up good value. But anyways, man, that is it for the video. Um, please hit that like and that subscribe. I'm going to link down a bunch of videos down in the description so you guys can check those out too. Um, the next promo that's coming out is going to be um, Ultimate Legends on Saturday. I'll drop a video for that. Looking for the Budget Beast on that. Ultimate Legends hasn't been that good for Budget Beast recently. But, you know, we'll always take a look at the Budget Beast. We'll always pull out the best players in that promo or that day that come out. So you guys can get some value out of that. Other than that, you know what I mean? We got the content schedule coming out Monday. Drop a video on that. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to start my uh, under 300k Budget Beast series. It's going to be official, man. But anyways, man, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love y'all, and I'm out.